So then we are back with more understandings from the time of the Second Tabernacle Services, where we find the Aramaic English translation of the word. And this translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzayelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as Perir Shiahu the prophet. We find layers of understanding of the spring feast, the autumn feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Messiah laid the waste for many centuries. As we read the Nier Shiahu the prophet, we are very privileged of having these understandings because many prophets of the time of Yerushiahu, besides himself and the future prophets, they always wanted to know what then the Creator himself had for the future. Every time I read myself the Holy Instructions, I'm truly amazed the amount of information the Creator has given and also the precision of the Holy Instructions and truly it is delightful of spending time in reading the Word. Let's then make an evaluation of what's going on in the world because then we have a reference as far as Revelation the 20th chapter and then you must understand in what area of the time we are at. As it was explained before, in the 20th chapter of Revelation, it states very simply, And I saw then the angel that descended from heaven, having the key of the pit and a great chain in his hand. And he seized the dragon, the old serpent who is the deceiver and Satan, who seduced the whole inhabitable world, and bound him for a thousand years. So then, let's understand what then Yohanan is explaining. Because not only this, Yohanan is given then sections of the times and the seasons related with the Gentile level. Now, we understand the cities, when they are set and they are secluded, time is not counted in the holy cities because of the presence of the Creator Himself. However, in a world we must be divided up by time. So then, we are during the time of the Dragonic period. So then, the reason why then he starts with a dragon, it's because the dragon is the very time where the prophecy is at. Then he explains the old serpent who is the deceiver and Satan. Deceiver simply means a time of deceit, from 1009 to 2009, there was deceiving in the earth. It was the only period of time that it was an absolutely total deceit. There was no more temple, no more holy cities, there was absolutely no directive. And that's why then had the phrase then generated as far as the New World Order because the world had no order and then they had to come up with some sort of an order in order to function. Thus then a period of a thousand years. So then the deceit, the period of the deceit was from 1009 to 2009. And the period of the deceit has ended. We are then during the time of the restoration period regarding then tabernacling and the Dragonic period as far as the world or the Gentile level simply Dragon means precision precision of the trade because Daniel was a tradesperson and he explained that at the end of the thousand years of deceit then knowledge would increase. Why then was a thousand years of this hit? Because then they said his nation would be roaming the earth for a time. So then, because of these then we are evaluating, let's verify what's going on with Daniel the 11th chapter as far as Egypt. That's the headquarter of the Islamic State. It came out yesterday very specific article regarding then the Islamic State once again 
decapitating people. There are a couple of Japanese who are then on the line. And then, obviously, when we observe these situations, there is obviously a statement they are trying to make as far as, as the world. But the point is, the holy instructions are given us very specific details as far as, as Egypt is concerned. Came out some 10, 12 hours ago, the president of Egypt is going to obviously of having lots of money set aside for infrastructure, even the rebuilding of the Giza pyramids. So this is going to increase a lot tourism and most importantly the Islamic State is going to make the headquarter in Egypt because Egypt is the place where Hagar then was born. She was an Egyptian mate and she then had a relationship with Abraham or Ibrahim. Thus then the sons of Ishmael came from Hagar. Not only this, but the great company named by Nestle, they are opening up factory over there. And this truly is giving us then the cleaning up of Egypt and then set aside wars and started rebuilding then the country, mostly Cairo, because it's a very famous place throughout the world. Now comes the most important point of this, and the example of the world. We understand China holds already 57% of the world's trade, and then they are making this trade also computerized, and they have even than the social networks only for trade. So the nations are truly linking up with China and then ushering in this time of the Dragonic period. Other countries are simply sunk in debt, thieving, and because of these the great examples are then obviously drawn from Great Britain. Once again, the island nation is giving the example, the economy is improving, the numbers are improving, jobs are improving, services are improving. And truly, from this island nation then comes the light as far as, as what then the Gentile world should be focusing on. So then, it is known throughout the world, the English time showing up on time, and being reliable and trustworthy. And most often when we observe and watch movies of the British Navy, we always find people who are involved with other nations and islands and civilizations. They are always given the great example. And because of these nations, such as Brazil, for instance, is absolutely 100% rigged with thieving, it is truly amazing that some people in this country can become hopeful, that someday maybe the government can become reliable. Because the thieving is absolutely second nature of a nation that used to be trustworthy. So, at least, we are glad Great Britain is there, always giving the great example. Because when China comes and the nations begin their quests of linking up with China, then thieving is going to be reduced, and truly a lot. So then, the Trigonic period is coming. We are in Daniel, the 11th chapter, verses 8 and 9. Egypt is, obviously cleaning up itself. A great company named Nestlé is opening up trade over there. And also the president of Egypt is working on a project of the pyramids, increasing then tourism. And also, at some point, at some time, then the Islamic State, they're going to organize themselves and civilize themselves and becoming part of Egypt so as per instructions. So please stay tuned. Much more coming up.